Today I'm adding thick paint effects to any painting from any app. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. Um, this idea, it's not mine, I've got to say that straight away. I got this idea from um, a subscriber called Robert Hopkins. Uh, and he left me this message saying how to do this. And I thought it was a great idea. I'd give it a go. And basically, you can take a painting you have done in any app and bring it into ArtRage, either on the PC or on your iPad, and um, put thick paints in pasto paint strokes on it. So basically, what I've done, you create a, a, you import your painting, you create a new layer like I've done there, you then uh, change that uh, blending mode to multiply on that new layer, and you make sure your paint color is set to white at that point all we need to do is choose the brush so you go to the uh, oil paint brush which you can see i've got selected there and then you want uh, well the one i'm using was the um thick glossy paint brush but i had to install all of the um default settings again every time i load the app up all the different brushes have disappeared and i have to uh, re-import them i don't know if anybody else is having that problem i think one or two people have messaged me saying that but once you've done that watch this you can then start painting over uh, your original painting with white paint and because you've changed the blend mode it um the white doesn't appear but the shadows of the thick paint which are obviously going to be gray do show up through the multiply layer i didn't actually um toggle between i should have uh, switched the multiply off to show you what it would look like without the multiply mode on but i didn't i just got so excited about this because it has been so, you know i've tried to create um thick paint brushes and you just can't do it you need a kind of a, a the engine in the application to be able to do that so now the uh this the pixels on this image um were three thousand pixels by four thousand five hundred and I used a um smaller image which I just resized uh rather than using the original one because I didn't have access to my PC when I was doing this. I was sort of at somebody else's house and I thought it would be a good idea to do. So unfortunately the painting underneath is a little bit blurred. But it is an iRes image. It is 3,000. I did up it to 3,000 by 4,000 pixels per inch. So I'm using the brush at, I think, 100% there, this thick oil brush. And look at those brush strokes, how they appear. And uh, I, I chose this particular painting because it is clearly very loose, thick brush strokes. And it was actually painted in Critter, the free painting app. Uh, well, I believe it was. I'm pretty sure I painted it in Critter. But uh, so I just navigated to um, where I'd got that on the cloud or the um, sample painting of it. And then I imported that. It was a PNG file, by the way. I exported it from my, uh, from Critter as a PNG. So you could do this from Procreate, um, Art Studio Pro, um, Autodesk Sketch, any of those apps. You could export your drawings or paintings as a PNG and then uh, bring it into um, ArtRage. Just import it as a, as a, a painting. Then it's uh, the size is all set for you and everything. Create that new layer above your um, painting. Change the blend mode to multiply. And away you go. It's as simple as that. So I use, I pretty much uh, used the one brush. Uh, I did change the size of it from time to time. There we go, I'm changing the size there just to um, add a little bit of detail. And I should say your brush stroke, you obviously need to, I don't really need to say this, but they need to follow the painting underneath it. You can't just sort of put slap dash brush strokes anywhere uh, otherwise it would look false. You've kind of got to follow what's already on. The thicker, uh, to get a thicker effect, just 
press with the stylus harder on the iPad or if you're using a PC on your tablet and you will get much more um, detail in your brush strokes. And if you um, apply a uh, press lighter pressure, you get much more delicate strokes. And you can see that I'm sort of blending some of those thicker strokes out. So I just, I didn't go over the old painting. I thought it would be too much to do all of it. So I kind of did his face and his hand and the little mixing desk that he's using there. I did a, a tiny bit on the um, clothing. I do like this painting, actually. I might have another go with Critter. It really does um, blend those colours together nice. So I've obviously upped the brush pressure uh, size back to 100%. I put a bit of texture on the guitar as well, not much. And then, um, you, as you zoom in, you can really see that texture going on there. Look at that. That is fantastic. So that's kind of opened up an all new ball game for me because I really like, um, Procreate. And I've always said it would be really cool if it had got, um, a thick paint effect in there. But now I can do my paintings and then bring them into Art Rage after to add that effect. And then I thought it'd be quite cool <clears throat> to see what else we've got. So I, I choose the tube of paint um, and I had a little play around with that just to see what sort of effects I could get. So I got that tube of paint selected and I thought I would just put it on the uh, closing as zooming in there now. Look, you can see I'm just squirting that paint on. And um, I'm obviously going to use a palette knife to uh, smooth that out. And I use the, I think it's, um, I, again, I had to re-import the um, presets. And I, I choose the uh, Hard Out Smudge, I think was the one I went for. Yeah, Hard Out Smudge. And I just sort of smeared that paint, that sort of, paint that comes out of the tube so you could get some really thick effects with that if you wanted to uh, put that on and it just doesn't affect the color underneath brilliant idea uh, i don't know who come up with this but uh, i say it's not my idea it came from uh it robert said he saw it on the uh, pro a procreate forum that's where it originated from so um top marks to ever come up with this idea very simple, easy to do, and uh, you can have, add some very cool effects to your paintings. You just obviously need to um, invest in Art Rage if you haven't got it. It's not too expensive on the iPad. If you're buying a PC version, uh, a bit cheeky, I know, because I get um, I'm an affiliate to Art Rage. So if you buy the PC version, if you buy it through my website, I get a little bit of a kickback. So that would be appreciated, but obviously, you know, you don't have to. Uh, so that is it. I just thought I'd show you that. I thought it was a great idea. Uh, I tried it out. Absolutely loved it. How to put thick paint on any painting produced in any app using Art Rage on the iPad or the PC. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up. As always, is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this. And I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.